right? This is a um, urinary catheter on a male dog. Um, we've already got his pants exposed. I'm going to go ahead and get him scrubbed up and ready to go. Um, just to, to show you what it is that we would do. I know, buddy. So what we would do, easy, easy, easy. we've got him scrubbed easy. up, um, we're going to go with that. Just to show you how we do that. As far as my supplies go, I'm going to do similar to what I did with the um, male cat, urinary catheter supplies. I'm going to go ahead and open up my gloves. At this point I would um, scrub in and have my gloves ready. Sterile, um, 12 inch, 12 French um, red rubber catheter feeding tube, um, but we use these for um, urinary catheters in male dogs. I'm gonna see if maybe I can get this to fit on here, so that way I have something as far as sterility goes. Because this one didn't stay on here, ideally I would go get another one. In fact, I'll probably just get another one now. Full of saline, 
um, and I would have somebody hold the bag for me so that I can take the syringe, um, attach the needle, stick it into the bag, and draw out my saline. Um, and then uh, I would tip, place the tip of the catheter into the lubricant. And I would advance this into his ure uh, urethra. Now, male dogs, their anatomy is a little different than females, whereas females go straight in. Male dogs, um, theirs goes in and then around their ischium and then into their bladder. Um, so sometimes when you get to this point, you kind of have to maneuver, like palpate a little bit, to kind of help guide it back and retrograde it um, to his bladder. Um, so if I were to be doing this for the reason that um, if he were, had a blockage, I would advance it in into his urethra, attach my um, syringe full of saline. Um, it's a little bit big, which is why I wanted that 60 gauge syringe that didn't stay sterile. So, but I would attach this to it advance my catheter, and uh, clear the path as I advance the catheter through his urethra into his bladder. Um, and if I wanted to, I could keep this in here um, to hospitalize him. It's not ideal because male dogs don't usually um, tolerate uh, hospitalized um, catheters. Now, if this were to get a, um, just to get a urinary sample, um, we don't typically do uh, cystocentesis on male dogs. I mean, you can, but it's not, we, don't, we just don't usually do it. Um, same idea, lubricate the tip of your, um, your catheter, advance it into your urethra, and it's going to come around the ischium into the bladder, and you're going to start seeing urine come out. At that point, you're going to start, you're going to, stick this uh, 60 mil cath catheter tip to syringe to the end of the um, urinary catheter. And like I said, it's going to be in the bladder at this point and you're going to start pulling your sample. It's stuck. There you go. You're going to start pulling your sample and when you have enough of your sample, as you're drawing out, you're going to continue to pull on the plunger so that way you have completely pulled all the urine out of the tract. But um, that is how you would do a urinary catheter on a male dog.